Hi Aquarius, it is Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, uh, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Just please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, thank you for all the love, all the messages. It, it means a lot, guys. Just keep it up, keep it up. All right. It keeps me going. You know, stay engaged, right? So let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. All right. Um, thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right. Let's see. What is happening for the Aquarius, the sun card? You're in the summertime. The summertime is going to be lit for you, I heard. Okay? Um, you're in the summertime of your life. You could be dealing with a Leo. Leos are about attention, you know, being magnetic. Uh, they're the life of the party, the star of the, of the show. They want to be the boss. I think some of you are going to just be taking on some of that energy with the sun card showing up. You have to decide to do this though. Decide to walk in this energy. This is also just about you and maybe even redefining yourself. This could even be a makeover, doing something over, uh, looking different, dressing different. You're also attracting a lot of energy. It says the universe is shining bright on you. Therefore, you know, you're pulling a lot of different energies towards you. Good, bad, indifferent, whatever. It's just like you're getting a lot of eyes on you. People wanting to peer into you. Uh, your aura, maybe yellow. Okay, so we got yellow for solar plexus. Maybe you need to do some um, healing work also. Heal from the past. Past is coming up judgment yeah you need to definitely forgive heal the judgment card uh relinquish absolve let it go yeah they did it yeah they were wrong yeah they're full of shit yeah 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 but are you going to keep carrying it also this is letting go the great release before the actual projection the actual ascension so it's like the universe is saying, release all of that before I take you to the next level. You can't take it with you. It's the analogy I always give. It's like you, you keep saying you want a new house. You want a new house. You get the new house. And then on moving day, the movers come and you say, okay, yeah, so um, I would like to uh, take this house. Yeah, this entire house and put it in my new house. People are looking at you crazy. You just can't do that. Okay. So... Some of you are going to have to really let something go. Really, really, really let it go. And that's what the universe is asking you to do. Call judgment on this. It encompasses so many different things. Let it go. Forgive. Absolve this person. Stop holding them or holding this group of people um, in contempt at fault. Yes, they did it. Let it release I release you in love and light and move forward. Every time you think negatively about a particular person, place, or thing, that's what you need to say. You need to follow that thought up with, I release that thing in love and light. Make it real. Make it real. And the only way you can make it real is continuously stating that to yourself and to the universe. I released it in love and light. What else is a, a Aquarius? What's going on for Aquarius here? It's like the universe is like illuminating something to you. That yellow here, I just keep hearing solar plexus, solar plexus. So you need to heal. Maybe from the past. People did you wrong, treated you bad. They were just unfair altogether. They saw, they thought what they saw was a mark where they can kind of um, take advantage of you. Um, and maybe they did. And now they feel like they can continue to do it. But something about you is changing Aquarius. Yeah, seven of swords here. It's like you're sneaking off. And you're doing something here also in, in secret here. You're making secret. You got secret plans. You are the lone wolf. You are doing it alone. You're okay with that. 
partnering right now is not what you want to do, especially in business. The Seven of Swords also talks about this is somebody trying very hard to get away with something. And maybe that's why the universe is saying, you know, release them. Yes, they did it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. But what are you going to do about it? You're going to fight them? They're, trying, they're masquerading like something is when it isn't. This person could be masquerading like they're happy, they're in a joyous type of energy. They could care less, but all they do is look backwards. They spy on you. They want to come back and see what it is you're doing. This person could even be wanting to come back and steal more from you, steal more whatever it is they took, your energy, your essence, your good nature, your good ideas. This is a usurper. This is somebody who does not give anything. They take, 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 take. This is somebody who's calculated. They come to take because at the very core of them, at the very heart of them, they are the lone wolf. They're okay doing it alone, being alone. They'll masquerade like they want partnership only to take. And then they'll, they'll get and they'll leave. All right, so we, we know what it is with this person. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, the lovers showing up. It's taking a turn here. <laughs> okay, so with the lovers showing up, you got a choice to make a life altering choice. And it could be about love partners. All of a sudden, there could be something that inserts itself between a relationship. There could be somebody new coming into your life. And now you have to choose. It says with the lovers, most times the person typically always chooses the soulmate. And when they don't, they have long lasting implication, long lasting repercussion. They never forget this person. They never get over it. This could be happening with you, Aquarius. Somebody chose to still be in the streets, still be a liar, still to steal. They chose to take, to steal. I guess that, they really wanted to come out. They chose to steal, take from you, take from anything and anybody who would allow them. Don't feel like it was just you, Aquarius. Um, but now they're realizing the the true nature of the relationship. I think you always knew that it was a soul tie. It was a strong soulmate, twin flame, whatever you subscribe to type of energy. This person couldn't figure it out, but now they, they figured out that there's something between the two of you. It's um, magnetism, it's chemistry, it's something, right? So now they're looking back at you spying on you, looking in on you, asking around about you. You are the subject of gossip in terms of this person. Whoa, yeah. Wanted to flip out. Flipped out off camera when I was shuffling the Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Destiny. Whomever you're inquiring about in terms of this reading, yes, they are a soulmate. You now you have to determine what type of soulmate they are. Good, bad, or indifferent, I don't know. But this person is a soulmate. The Wheel of Fortune this is the wheel of change, destiny. Something about changing, maybe even changing your mind, sitting in a different circle, different social circle, different people that you know. This is great achievement. It's the universe having aligned something so that you can take aligned action, right? When everything is in alignment, it's going to go well. Fix the solar plexus. Do some healing work there. Heal, release, forgive, absolve. Absolve this, this, this okay, I was about to say a twin flame soulmate that just couldn't get it right. Didn't mean you well. 
Because there's something on the other side of letting it go. There was probably somebody else that came in between you and your person with the lovers coming out. The will of destiny is like the universe is trying to set you up, line you up for something better. I keep hearing better, much better, better. Yeah. The Knight of Wands, this talks about taking action. So it's like a window for you to take action when the Knight of Wands comes out. It also talks about finishing what you start. The devil. Woof. All right. So this person. This person just. Okay, yeah, okay. So they just can't get right, all right? And um, I think you had high hopes. They Maybe they even had high hopes for this relationship. But somebody is way too low vibrational, flighty. There's no staying power with them. They can't stay still. They can't let the grass grow under their feet, says the Knight of Wands. They cannot be stable or they cannot offer stability and that's what you're looking for they're easily tempted swayed again back to somebody coming in between you and this person yes they are high level soulmate twin flame whatever that doesn't mean that you need to stay in an abusive abusive can be emotional also an abusive situation if they're abusing your energy they're a taker usurper <laughs> let it go do the work of letting it go that's why you got judgment it's like the universe wants you to call judgment on us like we want to take you to the next level but you gotta work you gotta work backwards because it's like you got two high major arcanas 19 and uh 20 right 19 and 20 and then you got uh some of the low lower major arcana so it's like some of you got to work backwards of, of course the past healing the past going back over this before you can move forward somebody this person see what this person did was left you in the energy of confusion they left you in the energy of confusion they left you in the energy of being an option they sold you a dream they told you all the sweet nothings they told you all the things that sound good but they did nothing it was just wishful thinking it was just them indulging. They like to get you involved. They like to get your emotions involved. You know, there's a saying that some people like to make you fall in love with them because the sex is better. Maybe that was just this person's energy. It's like being around you. They can feel the genuineness or I know that's probably not a word. Um, they can feel your genuine nature. They can feel that you came off real. With you, it is real. With everything and everybody else, it is a great deal of falsehood, of lies, manipulation, indulgence, pleasure. But with you, it is, it is grounded. It is home. It is real. But this person cannot get right. It's like I heard black snake moan. Like this person just can't stay still. You know, they just... They got something in, and wow, okay. I didn't even see this, guys. I just said, I just said, black snake moan. Look what's around her neck. A black snake. Wow. Yeah, this, this person like poison. You know, they're, they, they're poison to your good nature. No matter how much you want to be with them, how much they want to be with you, it's like night and day. It's like literally good and bad. And either you're going to take a walk on the wild side with them, which I think you tried, but you couldn't hang. Or they're going to take a walk on the good side with you. And I don't even think they're interested. The devil card also talks about two people who just can't understand the reason why they met one another. And that's the toxicity and that's the karma between the two of those people. They just they just can't learn the lesson of meeting one another and they move on and that's the karma 
because you just keep engaging with one another and not really understanding why. Let's see what this other deck has to say. Uh, what does this deck have to say? Stop talking about this person. Stop talking about your ex. Um, okay, I'm about to call, text you, blah, blah, blah. I love you. Maybe this person tells you that they love you. Yeah, release your negative thoughts. Crown chakra coming up. I think we talked about that. Once you have one thought about this person, you just need to release them in love and light. This person wants to call you and, and tell you more sweet nothings. Seven of Cups. It's to keep you in the energy of confusion. Always remember in confusion, you don't make decisions, right? Because you're confused. So if you want to manipulate somebody, you just confuse them. You just you know, throw a lot at them and then they're like, oh, I don't know what to do. See past the bullshit. All right, let's see. What else do you want to tell? Okay. Yeah. So you're dealing with somebody. I said, I don't care about none of that soulmate, twin flame, mumbo jumbo. I love who I want. So it's like, once again, I said, you knew that this was a high level type of connection, chemistry. This person didn't get it till later on. And now they're kind of stuck. They know that they need to feed off of you. They feed off your energy. You give them your energy. You you end up going down. I keep hear, I see like an escalator going down and they go up. Be weary of that succubus. Let's see. Whoa. This is how this person feels. It's just a relationship. You'll get over it. He's very narcissistic, very hurtful. And maybe this is, this is what they're telling themselves too, because I feel like they're in an energy of understanding, like this relationship means something, but I don't know what to do with it because I am black snake moan. I am for the streets. I can't sit still. My pants is hot. I mean, they on fire. Okay. So this person is just, they can't get it right. Wow. As I say that, this fell into my lap. You should probably run away from me. They know that they don't have the capacity to give you what you want. They just don't, it don't they don't possess it. Yeah, and this is how they are with you. Off and on, hot and cold, keeping you confused. Okay, so this card showed up twice. I wake up with you on my mind. This person wakes up thinking about you. I think they understand the, a little bit the nature of what the relationship is. And some of your people understand it, you know, in detail greatly. But they're not at a place. Wow. They're, okay. All right. They said take it. They're not at a place where they can just give you what you want. Because maybe some of them are addicted to sex with anyone. Okay. And they have zero discipline in every aspect of, of their life of, or your life. Heart chakra. Their heart chakra is a little off. So, you know, question the desire, the, the, the desires of a man's heart. Man just means man or woman. Um, so mine just is black snake moan for real. Wow. Wow. It's like they have, you know, the, the, if the opportunity presents itself, they're on top of it or the person is on top of them I don't know, I don't know. Um, yeah now they're in an energy of possession I will never let you go but this is how they treated you unfair we talked about that this is a this is toxic as fuck this is like, this is terrible. It's terrible because, wow, in the first card that I see and I pull this other deck, it's karmic relationship. We definitely know it's one of those. You see that? Um, 
It's sad because I feel like there's an Aquarius that is about to go on an ascension um, journey where they're really going to really let this go. Really, really, really let it go. Like this person can no longer ever come back. Not in the, the capacity that they think they can. What is going on here? Can we clarify this reading? All right, the golden mirror. Yeah, somebody self self absorbed, narcissistic, one sided relationship, love bombing, and that's what they do. The seven of cups come in and tell you everything you want to hear. The sword in the road, but you get in clarity, revelation, and truth, solidarity. You just like I'd rather be by myself than deal with this bullshit. And you're coming into your power. Wow. what is can we clarify who this person is and it could be you aquarius to the cross watcher you know let's see can we clarify who this person is mask you know they wear a mask not showing their true feelings they personify they pretend they gaslight and they delude they're they i heard they're really good at it who is this person who is this person engagement ring engagement partnership commitment and eternal completion union they could already be engaged they could already be in something we have to clarify that engagement ring this is what they were unkind you know they want to show you that damn is okay i see why all right unkind and then they had yeah unfair treatment it's like again they thought like you were just a mark yeah because you were very understanding the most understanding person i've ever met let's clarify this engagement ring i feel like this person wants to propose to you or wants to be with you or be in some commitment with you quote unquote because no telling what they're going to be doing in the commitment yep i see it they want they feel like you're a forever person with the ten of pentacles they don't want to let you go because again they feed off of your energy they love what you bring you're the most genuine and understanding person they have ever met because anybody else everybody else either returns what they give out or they just leave. They don't stick. Excuse me. They don't stick around. Yeah, judgment coming out. Clarifying the engagement ring. Right? You need to judge this commitment. This is partnership. This person could be trying to release something or let go of somebody or something because they want to propose. Please give me one more card for engagement ring and judgment. I don't know if this is a manipulation tactic, though. I knew it. King of Cups. That's a husband. When you get that King of Cups with the engagement, this or wife or whatever you, you know, I don't know. Um, this person wants to keep you. And we had, I will never let you go. They're going to do anything to keep you. But the cards want you to know with the two of wands at the bottom of the deck two of wands talks about of course a decision needs to be made decision is all about going in and making an incision and then cutting away so you're gonna really have to get rid of something completely right also with the two of wands it talks about the grass is greener on the other side so you've already been on the side of being with this narcissistic energy so the grass is greener on the other side so may hint hint you need to be on the other side of this maybe do something new um go in a new direction the two of wands also talks about be cautious of the decision you make because in the two of wands going it could easily show up as the ten of wands for you we know the ten of wands is karma karmic situation we know that it can turn karmic very bad i mean very quickly if you don't make the right decision in the two of wands and the wands are all about action so you got to do something here um yeah i think you're sitting pretty aquarius wow this person is now seeing you as they want to be the one. They want you to be the one. They want to be the one. They want to be the one, the two, three, everything. Okay. Okay. <sighs> 
Let's see. I'll come back here. We'll come back. Uh oh. Okay. Can Aquarius trust this energy? I just don't feel like he can. Uh, leopard then changes spots. Right. Soft. Not making any moves. I don't know. This person may come from your soft spot or do something, but right now they're not making any moves. They're trying to be very calculated. I saw the Seven of Swords in another deck too. And we know that the Seven of Swords came out for them. Yeah, they're trying to understand. Are you going to gain some understanding? They're not making any moves. They're trying to get some clarity about where you are and what you're doing and who you're doing it with. Seductive. How to seduce you. How to get you back. Especially with that devil card. Yeah, because you guys are in separation. They're not there for you. They have never been. I don't know if they ever will be. You may have put blockers up. Boundaries. I can't talk to you after 8 p.m. Sorry. You might even be really busy. You may have put up boundaries because you're saying, look, it just costs too much. Now, it could be money or it could just be in terms of my energy, my time, my devotion, my heart, my love, everything I have to give. It's going to cost me too much to lose footing, balance where I am in my life. Therefore, I have to put up boundaries with you because I am seeing clear. This person is now in the energy of displacement. They stare at your picture for hours. They're obsessed. They could be stalking your home. Definitely a man who you put in a friend zone with this pink. They keep in close watch on you. It could be something about, you know, they go back and, excuse me, they go both ways, bisexuality, or it could just be that they're masking themselves we did have the mask come out with beard so it's like they're they're trying to act like they you know they don't care or they're not watching you this person they just back to black snake moan they got several secret affairs they were hiding they're live wire for real they get it cracking you know what i'm saying they do or they just if the if the opportunity presents itself they fiery they're up on it but they they have a love for you they, they may even see dollar signs in your eyes they may even ask you to move with them somebody could be spending big money on a home i just got this it could be you aquarius I don't know, Aquarius. This is, um, I just feel like this is an energy of, I haven't changed, but I know that you have, and I don't want you to get away, so I'm going to do any and everything to make you stay. Yep. All right. What should Aquarius be looking for? This one to come out. These two want to come out. So you can have some people jealous of you or you already have people jealous of you and it could be a group of people what you could be looking for is that this person wanting to take you out on a romantic dinner dinner date do whatever but what they're not really telling you is that i don't do well on one-on-one -on -one connections you know you come with the one heart thinking that they come in with their heart but they got all these other ones behind them what can Aquarius expect? Wow. This person just doesn't value anything. Period. They don't want children. This could be you, Aquarius. It could be someone else. What can Aquarius be expecting from this person? This particular energy. Can't make this stuff up town whore i get around they just can't you 
could have met them around a very turbulent time in your life. Maybe you were looking for an outlet yourself and then you guys bonded, trauma bonding. This card is, comes out a lot when people meet. When I, I was finding that this card came out a lot when people were meeting up with each other during uh, COVID, like the 2020, the when it first started, yeah. So it's like, maybe you, you met them and it was like, he's like, well, you know, I don't know where it's gonna go, but it's, it's cool because I need a positive outlet right now. I need an outlet because I'm doing this and doing that in my life. So it was kind of like a trauma bond and maybe something was going on with them also. What can Aquarius expect? They could be trying to bond with you over some trauma also. Something happened in your life recently and now they want to kind of uh, sneak their way in. Someone could be a druggie. Someone could be using drugs, abusing drugs. Promise you, you got all the damn hoe cards. This is crazy. Either this is you, Aquarius, or the other person, or both of y'all some hoes. But that's okay, because I love hoes too. Um, it's like this person may even, you could be expect them to try to take you on a weekend getaway. Yeah, try to butter you up, take you on a weekend getaway. What can Aquarius expect? Okay, so go over here. All right, let's see. What can Aquarius expect? What can Aquarius expect from this person? What can Aquarius expect? What can Aquarius expect from this particular person? Okay. Age of Wands and the Moon, yeah, it's like, this is trickery. This is a hidden enemy, frenemy. This is delusion, is lies. Again, trickery, a veil. Then we did, we did have a mat, the mask come out. It's like this person wants to get in a sack with you real fast, have some like sex makeup session. And you think everything is going good and this shit just fizzles out just as fast as it starts. This person, they're, okay, they said they're bipolar or, and it could even be that you're just of two minds about everything. It's just like, they just, oh, oh, okay. So I'm going to have a little tarot lesson. All right, so we have the devil show up, right? And the devil is about duality, okay? And we know dual means two. And we know that with the moon, sometimes it could talk about, you know, um, emotions, psyche, you know, the mind. And this person is of two minds. And if you're of two of anything, it's like devil energy. Because God, universe, spirit, whatever you call um, supreme being, they want you to... Um, be a you know a trinity you know mind body soul spirit and this person is all about duality like they jump from from this to that they go from good to bad they never make a decision so be cautious be weary of people that um you know they 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 move under that and this is a moon card in here too i mean it's a moon in this card also they move under that energy of duality where they just jump back and forth it's almost like i can be good today i can be bad tomorrow i can be good the next day and then bad. you know and they're okay with it instead of choosing one position either i'm gonna be all good or i'm gonna be all bad or i'm always gonna be under the energy and the influence of you know spirituality you know um, higher being the trinity holy trinity I'm just gonna life is all about just trying if you just try to do right just try right you know it's not that we all we all fall short but this person is comfortable in the energy of jumping backwards and forwards and forwards and backwards and and that's why they they're confused and they're trying to confuse you this is what you can expect page the ones in the moon for them to reach out to you to explore how far they can go with you 
But keep in mind, this person is not in an energy of settle or settlement. They're restless. Their soul is restless. And they, they go back and forth. So They do have a lot of love for you. But they don't know what to do with that love. They don't even know how to treat you. It looks like some of you coming into a place, whether you're a man or woman, of really understanding your worth, your true value, knowing that you're a good catch. And you're in a very fertile and lucky time, lucky period in, in your life. So uh, things are working out for you. You also different streams of income coming up. Some of you are looking backwards or this person is looking backwards, wondering if you should work on it. Well, I was about to say, I don't know, but Queen of Swords, you might need to release it. Back to the house analogy. The Queen of Swords cuts out things that just don't serve no value what is the value of holding on to this relationship why to say you have somebody to say you what get a piece of paper and write it down write the pros and the cons of this relationship of this person make it real because when it's in your head you get you have how many thoughts a day but when you write it on that paper and you have to look at that paper you can't fight with the paper i mean you possibly could you could ball it up but it is real it's there when that cons list is way longer than the pros. You know what? If you're dealing with somebody and it has more cons than pros, I want you to type it down in the in the comment section. Just type con. Shoot, some of y'all dealing with convicts, con artists. No. <laughs> Just type con down there if you know you're dealing with somebody that's got more cons to them than pros. So it's like you need to be in that queen of swords she's the executive this is the person who makes the final decision um she understands cutting the fat trimming it it's gotta go doesn't make sense it just doesn't make sense i gotta go it's gotta go i want new so this has to go i, I know that i can't take the old with me because it will be defeating the purpose of getting new Yeah, it's like you need to start something new. This person is not going to be able to cope with the fact that you done. Yeah, this is somebody with Aries. Leo in their energy. Cancer. We got all kinds of people showing up. This is a... It could be an older man or masculine energy, or it could even be a feminine energy in her masculine energy. This person thought that they could dominate. They thought that they could weasel back in, but it looks like some of you might be on your square. The emperor is about a square. Look at his throne is very square anyways. Like you're gonna be, it's very hard to penetrate this. Wow, because you're like, I'm ready for the world. I'm ready to close this chapter in my life and really close it. And not in the sense of, you know, kiss my ass and you this and you that and, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, no, it's more so <laughs> love and light. Have a good one. There's nothing more to talk about. What can they say that could change their mind? And that's the energy you might need to be in because some of you need to take this in a new direction new direction in your life you need to be firm in your decisions I'm firm in you self-directed energy so you need to put a lot more energy into self 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 self-directed energy so that you can achieve achieve uh short-term goals with the chariot card here this person comes into your life and they 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 scatter your energy they make you all over the place and they they make you you know do the work for the relationship whether it is as whether it is um as as simple as um setting up dates when are we going to see each other what are we going to do uh they just make you do the work and it takes away from work you really could be doing on yourself for yourself about yourself starting something new it's just like they scatter your energy they're gonna be very upset they could even be sad right now because either you both of you are holding back 
And it's like holding back because some of you just made sense of moving on from this. It doesn't make sense to stay. What are the soulmate cards? Let's see. What soulmate cards do we have to give to the Aqua? This person is a piece of work. But it's not even, you know, like, if you have to hate them or you have to... You almost, it's almost like you have to be, you feel a sense of pity, empathy, I don't know, because they just can't get it right. Imagine that. Imagine if you just couldn't do something and people held you in contempt. Wow, that's funny because we were talking about that earlier. You know, because you couldn't get it right. You just, again, need to release them in love and light because... It is what it is. Also, these uh, group of people, stalkers, people who don't mean you any well, release them in love and light too. It looks like you're protected from that. Uh, what do the soulmate cards have to say? Release your worries and receive universal abundance. I can't make this stuff up. We just keep talking about release, release. Release the worries of this person, this situation. You got universal abundance. Let's see. Life is a great big canvas throw all the paint on it you want look the the cards are telling you get out there aquarius live live for you don't be waiting on this situation don't wait on this person release them in love and light every thought you have about them follow it up with i release them in love and light and you'll start to see the energy dissipate i mean if you really want it to but if you want this person you want you want them you know i i'm not judging but just know what you're dealing with Okay. Um, the more love and care you give yourself, the more love you have to give to others. So make sure you pour in all that love. I think you got this card in the last reading. Like give that, give more love to you, Aquarius, because it's something about depletion or this person trying to deplete you. It's like you're just giving, 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 and they were just taking, 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 and now you're in a place of depletion. Everything you did for them, other people do for yourself. When you meet your soulmate, you feel calm, no anxiety, no anxiety, no agitation. All right, Aquarius, the hottest love has the coldest end. And I think it's going to get real cold for somebody. I don't think it's for you, um, but maybe definitely for this person. Uh, they're not going to like what uh, is coming around a bend for them because they don't feel like um, they can let you go now. Um yeah, your feelings are declining for them. You just wish they would apologize. This also could be a friend. They just need to apologize. Okay, so let's talk about the future energy for Aquarius. Future energy for Aquarius. Future love energy for Aquarius, if you will, spirit guide. All right. Oh, whoa, they will. Whoa, seven of wands. So it looks like um, maybe around Leo season, you could meet someone. You might have a lot of people after you, Aquarius. You might have to fight them off with a stick. Stand your ground about what it is you will tolerate, what it is you want. Don't don't maneuver or move your, your post or lower your standard or make concession for it because that's when you, that's when resentment can settle in down the line because it's like, you look at that person and you're like, shit, I made concession for you. You ain't got no hair on your head. And I just said, okay, that's fine. And now you're out here cheating. Now I got a bald cheater. No. So if you know that looks matter to you and um, you don't want to be in a place of resentment, even if you, even if money or status matters to you, because everybody is different, you know, if it matters to you, you know what your standard is. I don't know. And I am not judging, but you need to stand firm on it because every time you make concession for a person that is not up to your standard, when you, if it ends up bad or you end up hurt, then, and, and then also think about this. If you move the post for this person once you have to move it again and again and again then, then you just start to see damn i don't think i'm getting any of what i wanted 
So anyway, the cards say, stand your ground, Aquarius. The, you know, put it out there to the universe. Seven of Wands is also a very magical card. The Wands suit completely is about magic anyway, but um, put it out to the universe what it is you really want. Get very detailed in the type of person that you want to come towards you, not just aesthetics, but just, you know, detail, you know, their character, uh, who they are, where they live, what they'll drive, their, you know, uh, where they work, where their family lives, how close, I mean, get detail, put it out there, you know, um, so you, you're not finding yourself making concession. And then we all have our negotiables, things that you can negotiate on. And that's cool because people will, you know, have to negotiate with you too. We are not perfect. Um, but you also have your non-negotiables. You have to stand on that. You may have a lot of people after you uh, in a while, uh, in a short while, because you had another wands card. Um, they said this one first. All right, yeah, the king of swords. You might have to stand your ground and get some narcissistic energy that wants it their way. They they want, they're going after their ambition, okay? And nothing more, nothing less. And they want you to get on their page and get on their program this could be you aquarius masculine also king of swords um don't don't move don't don't keep making um you know movements for women you know or men if you like men but don't keep um moving or you know your um uh, what it is you want what it is you will tolerate the seven of wands and the king of swords also this is also very sexual too don't just be swayed easily by the sexy and nine of wands because somebody may be in the near future just non-committal you know this is a heavy non-committal energy somebody could come in it could even be i didn't even want to go backwards but it could even be maybe a past energy trying to come in and just destruct whatever it is you constructed because they can't get over. Yeah, this person could want to reconcile with you. They could be coming in fast. But all they're going to do is take you to a place of reversal. You may have to sharpen your words with this person and really cut it off or really cut and dry with them. They're going to think it's a game and it's theatrics and that you are being, um, you're just being mean and you're just saying things and you, you just want to win. But it's not about that. It's a, it's really about standing on your principles, your moral, your morals, and moving on, taking a high road. You just don't want this. You don't want to dance with the devil. You don't want to get down in the dirt. You're good. You even if it's moving on by yourself. So, in the near future, you may have this person from the past trying to reconcile with you. You may also have a lot of different people after you, after your energy. Um, the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck it's like this person just won't leave you alone you may have created a lot of legacy family with this person and they may even be trying to draw on that like well, what about all the stuff that we created all the stuff we talked about this and that whatever it doesn't matter it looks like you may even have you may even be meeting the one in the near future okay let's get cl clear on that let's get clear on that okay what do we have for Aquarius in the near future? Okay, it wanted to come out. So we got the same energy. I knew I wasn't reading wrong. This person wants to come back, lay the hammer down and rebuild, interrogate you, be repetitive, persistent with that seven of wands and that king of swords. But it's all sabotage. It's all to come back in and just have reversal for you. They don't want you to move away. They're not about to give you anything. There's no offer on the table. They just want to come in and, you know, do that. Okay, in the near future, we have the boat. So receiving what you need, progression, moving on, closure issue. So it looks like you're going to say, six of wands, I'm good. Um, I'm good. You may just even just say that I'm good. Like, it's just, there's no reason for all of this conversation about what. You're not changing. I'm not changing my mind. So what are we doing? That's right. Nothing. Have a good day. So in the near future, you could be the phoenix. A new phase. Renewed transformation, growth. Change mind. Wow, I just said that. I said, 
the clear you're saying i'm not changing my mind and you not changing so you could be like the phoenix rising from the ashes this i'm so happy that the cards are um going along with us it's just like you done with this it's like you like i can't do this again like in my meditation i'll you know i'll be personal since i'm never really personal um in my meditation you know i just heard you know spirit tell me imagine how far you would be if you would just stay the course if you would just seek seek after me so you know maybe that's a message for some of you if you just stay the course of progression moving forward you know growth but all, all of this going backwards and digging people up from the grave and we gonna start again for what that person ain't changed and you ain't changing your mind you just gonna get mad at them again and leave or ask them to leave karmic relationship is fleeting yes yes lessons letting go and loving you love it you get it you get it now i love this i love this reading i love it i love it love it love it all right so let's see uh what else do we have in the near future for aquarius whoa i, I just love this reading oh my gosh healthy choices making healthy choices in love and life self-love self-care being happier that's a beautiful reading and um it looks like in the near future again i talked about that too with the seven of swords i say it looks like you're gonna try to go it alone you're gonna be the lone wolf you got making some plans and everybody don't know about it you know also it could be spending on some big money on a house or home you gotta take a chance risk being strategic options and not showing your hand aquarius it just looks good for you it looks bad for this person in terms of they're just not gonna get what they want from you and it's okay they just have to resolve to move on um as the dryer dings they just need to if you guys can hear it they need to know it's over it's done what more this is what i have for you aquarius if it resonates for you go over to the website book there um some of you gonna be in your life purpose you're gonna be listening to spirit spirit is really gonna move you into a vibration of attracting all the energy all the things that you want from your the desires of your heart into your life you're gonna make some long-term achievements and goals here wow money is coming in money is abundant you are abundant and it's all because you're deciding to move forward you just know that this person they just can't get right and you just need to you know uh respect them for that you know if they could do it right maybe they would but they can't it's not in them and um i think once you realize that then you can um you can definitely move forward if you feel like this is your person if this is your story get your own personal reading what you want to do is firstly go over to the community tab here on youtube you click community on my channel get a discount code and then head over to the website and book your reading there um Aquarius, just to kind of you know drill down on your energy are you in a karmic situation is this your soulmate will they ever get right can they get right you know will they ever make the decision of being stable um i heard stuck i was trying to look for another word stable stuck to you i don't think they will anyhow this is what i have um again uh take care catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where i do a collective reading and you can ask questions uh thank you aquarius many blessings to you bye